Okay, I think it should be fine. So, hello everybody, I'm Milad and here is Tampere city in Finland. And for those of you who uh, don't know me, I'm a developer here. It's been almost uh, two years and a half, something around that, that I live here in Tampere. First, I came to Finland uh, to pursue a PhD. Then after one year, I quit PhD and started working as a web developer, as I used to work as a web developer before starting uh, the PhD, but uh, back in my country. So I thought maybe sharing my experiences and uh, my knowledge about uh, being a developer, about coming to another country, about Finland, about every personal things would be a good idea so i started this channel to talk to you and actually i don't i don't have a script actually i just write write down my notes here and i try to be honest with you try to talk to you directly and have a smile on my face and it's it's a little bit challenging still for me because um, i'm not a native english speaker i try to improve my accent my, my English skills but still I have a lot of challenges and basically here I don't need to learn learn their language which is Finnish and I can easily speak in English with everybody pretty much not only at work but every everywhere so it's a positive thing about Finland that you can speak in English and pretty much the uh, most of the people can speak in English okay so in this video I'll I'd like to talk about all the expenses and all the costs you have here and basically I want to give you a rough number about um, how much money you need to have, how much salary you need to get to live by, to have a normal life, to have a basic life here. And I will talk about the details more in this video. So the referencing I'd like to tell you is that, uh, well, basically in the end, let me give you the final number right now. I don't want to uh, bother you with all the details so the, the rough idea is that the rough number is something around 15 to 16 uh, hundred euros to have a really normal life here you know it's 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 a basic life you can have a good food decent food you can uh, have a little bit of fun and uh, you have a house, you have an apartment, you can have a roof above your head and you can enjoy, you know, everything else. Enjoy the nature, enjoy the public benefits. So that number is basically to have a basic life with, with, with good quality, I can say. This quality for a lot of countries around the world is a dream for a lot of people around the world having a life that you can get here with maybe 15 or 1600 euros per month uh, is a dream and actually this number is for a couple if you want to live here uh, by yourself as a single as an unmarried guy uh, that's that that will be something around and maybe seven or eight hundred euros so basically half of that number or a little bit more than half half of 15 or 1600 euros uh, because basically being married doubles uh, everything 
So I'm going to break down all the numbers and I'm going to talk about that in details. And uh, let me tell you this, that this is my experience. This is what I experienced here, all these numbers. And it could be a little bit different from person to person. And it's tied to this location, to Tampere, to Finland. But it's pretty much the same around the Europe. And it could be a little bit more, it could be a little bit less in other European countries. But I can guarantee that Finland, if, if you consider everything here, the safety, the public benefits, the work-life balance, everything you consider, I can guarantee that this is one of the best places you can live. Um, even at the first glance, it may seem that uh, expenses is a little bit high here, but after living here for a long time, you understand that it's not really high that much, and actually, it's reasonable in comparison to the salary they give you. Okay, let me check my camera to make sure everything's fine. So let's start and break down everything to see to see uh, what expenses here we have. Let me take a look at my notes here. So basically, as I told you, the rough idea, the rough number for one person is something around uh, 600, 700 euros. And if you squeeze it a little bit more, yeah, you could go below that number, but it depends on the on your expectations and what you want from life. And maybe some months you can leave uh, even below that number. Okay, let me break down everything. So the very first thing, the important thing is house, having a house having an apartment so for a single guy if you are okay with living with others or if you're okay with studio basically an apartment without any room with maybe 30 40 square meters so that's gonna cost around maybe three to four hundred euros for one guy as a married couple uh, it's something around seven to eight hundred euros, and this number is uh, including water expenses, electricity expenses. Actually, you need to pay separately for electricity, but uh, at, in average, it's something around forty euros per month for you know for a part for a fifty square meters apartment. Uh, it could go. Upper than this go, could go lower than this, but around 40 euros for electricity and f usually 20 euros for each person. So it's going to be seven to 800 euros for a married couple. And this, uh, if you go, uh, if you go further than the uh, city center that the price could go below this but in average it's something like that okay and the next thing is about food grocery and also the hygiene products so it's gonna cost around for two people if you you know squeeze it if you try to cook yourself every day uh, if you want to have a healthy habit healthy food containing uh, vegetables meats uh, it's gonna cost around six to seven hundred euros for two people uh, if you squeeze it a, a little bit more you could go below this number I've never tried that and this is basically the minimum I could go. I tried some months to do this when we came to Finland for the 
very first few months. Nowadays, it's going to cost us around basically get food and grocery and hygiene products usually cost us around eight to nine hundred euros but you could go around you know six or seven or eight hundred and it's gonna be half of this for a single guy and so no other than that we have transportation as well um, I live in city center and I'm pretty close to my work so I don't have to pay that transportation it, it takes usually around 15 minutes to get to work so I don't have to pay that money but if uh, if you ha if you have to use transportation it's gonna cost you around uh, something like 50 euros per month if you get a card for that so if you want it for two people just double it also we have some expenses for mobile and Wi-Fi internet and it should be something around 50 euros per person uh, it depends on the contract and the serv service provider but the Wi-Fi and the mobile everything gonna cost 40 or 50 euros so now if you want to have some fun if you want to go to have a you know glass of beer time to time once in a week or if you want to have uh have have your dinner or lunch in a restaurant uh, you you can have those things as well and it's gonna cost around maybe 40 to 50 euros per person and it doesn't include the, you know the fancy restaurants it's just normal you know mcdonald's king burgers these kind of fast food restaurants basically and you can go to those places once in a week and it's gonna cost you at the end of the month something around 40 euros per person and also if you want to go to cinema or have fun you know doing some activities or if you want to go to a gym doing exercises uh, I think it's gonna cost something around 50 to 100 euros per person it's optional you know it's optional it's completely optional and now the other uh, big expenses is actually healthcare insurance. So if you have a work, if you have a job, uh, usually you have occupational insurance you, so you don't have to buy a private insurance. But if you don't have a job, for instance, for your wife, you wanna buy in, for your wife or your husband, you wanna buy in a private insurance, uh, health insurance it's gonna cost you around 30 um, 350 uh, euros per year so something around 20 yeah something like that 30 euros per month but it's again optional because here we have a public health healthcare system so you don't have to go to private um, hell, um, uh, you know clinics or doctors but you need to wait in the queue to get an appointment for that okay that's pretty much the costs and expenses here so in the end it, it's gonna cost 15 to 16 euros for two people if you squeeze it you, you could go lower than this let me check my camera. Everything's fine. It's already 14 minutes. I'm talking to you. And I don't want to waste your time with the rest of the details. Um, also, there are other costs and expenses. So these are just for basic normal life. You know, you have a good, uh, you, you have a good apartment. You have a decent meal. You have 
some kind of activities and fun and for a lot of countries a lot of people around the world it's it's a dream to achieve this life and you are comfortable you are you have no worries with that kind of money so this is the least minimum salary you need to get and the good point is that if your salary or the money you have doesn't cover these expenses the public uh, the public basically sector is gonna help you it's called Kela here and they're gonna cover you with house allowances with child allowances with unemployment benefits these kind of things so you have no worries here and there are also some other numbers about buying a car or uh, buying a house but it's not part of this actually normal life and basic life because uh, you can't live without having a having your own house or having your own car you can just simply use public transportation or just rent a rent an apartment that's completely fine here and a lot of people like to do that and there are a lot of people who have the money but they don't want to buy a car or uh, buy a house but if you want to know more about this leave me a comment so I can provide you with this information I hope this video be useful for you and ask me any question you have please consider subscribing to my channel hit the like button and leave a comment for me thank you for watching bye bye for now